Burke is in the outback of New South Wales, about a nine hour drive northwest of the state capital, Sydney. Upon arriving at the back of Berth Exhibition Centre, we just parked the car and we had a quick walk around these amazing sculptures and wood carvings. They're just spread out in the parklands next to the centre. These were beautiful to look at, fantastic to, to watch. Let's go inside the Backerberg Exhibition Centre and see what's happening in there. The Backerberg Centre is a great place for visitors to learn about Burke, the gateway to the New South Wales outback. We visited in the off season, but in the months from March through October, there are a lot of things to see and do in and around Burke. Henry Lawson said, if you know Burke, you know Australia. The Backerberg Exhibition Centre has a fantastic cafe with a big range of cakes, sandwiches and hot food. You can grab a tea, coffee or cold drink and eat in the air-conditioned tea room or out on the veranda. The centre has a range of books and tourist info for visitors to choose from so that you can find out all about the things you can do when you visit in the tourist season. You can choose from a range of products from locally sourced ingredients. The exhibition tour starts with a brilliant audio-visual presentation in a wonderful Dolby Atmos theatre. There is a lot to get through. So visitors should give themselves several hours if they wish to take in all the presentations. The Exhibition Centre is spread across three buildings and the journey takes you through these wonderful outdoor areas with native gardens. The architecture inside the buildings is a mix of new and old and is beautifully presented. There are replica settler homes that give you a feel for early times in Burke. You can read about the history of transport up and down the Darling River, including the days of paddle steamers where they were transporting wool and many other goods. There are a lot of words. So heads up if you're traveling with young children because they might become restless. The mighty Darling River, the backbone of Australia was recently in flood when we visited in 2023. And it was great to see bird life around the water. Art on the local water tower pays tribute to a local Gundabooka man, Percy Hobson, the first Aboriginal athlete to win an Olympic gold medal. We were only in Burke for the day, and before we left, we stopped by a house that I lived in as a young toddler some 50 years ago. Join us in our next adventure. Remember, there are no strangers, just mates we haven't met yet. <laughs>